This is the Canon 20 to 70 F2. In this video, we're gonna walk around, we're gonna shoot some portraits, I'll give you some tips along the way, and I'm gonna show you why this is my favorite lens of all time, at least to this point. My name is Pai, and I'm one of the founders of Lynn and Jersa Photography and slrlounge.com. We're teaming up with Adorama to bring you a new series of photography tutorials called Master Your Craft right here on Adorama TV. So let's dive in. What's up friends? My name is Pai. Welcome to Adorama TV. I'm here at Chapman. I wanted to start off today with a minimalist challenge. So I have my R5 and the 20 to 70. And the first thing that I thought is this lens does a bit too much for me to make this a minimalist challenge. And I knew you guys would have an issue with it too. So instead, you can think of this video as kind of one part review, one part tips and tricks, how to find good natural light and compose your frames. Along the way, you'll see why the 20 to 70 is my favorite lens of all time, why it's such a really cool lens technologically for what it brings to us. Because essentially what we have is a zoom lens that acts like a prime. But you guys can see for yourselves. Let's go ahead and jump in. This is our lovely friend, Kiara. Thank you for joining me. We will link her up so you guys can give her a follow. For this scene, this is kind of the first scene that I wanted to work with. And what I love about this is this tree that's kind of dropping in. It's such a cool, look, 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 this tree is ridiculous. It's so cool. So let's start with the walk-up shot. We're gonna start with kind of what not to do because we can make, well, Kiara is gonna still make things look, look decent regardless. Uh, but without the right technique, we can kind of still <laughs> that still looks pretty good. <laughs> the walk of shot looks pretty good. People were like, I like that better than the other one. I know, okay, right? so it looks, it looks pretty good already. This is 50% you, 50% this lens. Nothing on my side right now. So what I'm actually gonna do, Kiara, I'm gonna have you sit right in this spot of light right here. If we can use this light as a bit of a hair light, that'll be cool. But what I really love is the way the light's hitting the grass in front of you. I'm gonna use that. So. I have a couple options in this scene. I could step back and I can zoom in. And at F2, you're gonna see that this really has a strong bokeh aesthetic. So Kiara, go ahead and have a seat. So I'm gonna lower myself down. We're gonna shoot right along the grass. And you'll see how we get a really great bokeh aesthetic with it. But the beautiful thing about this being a 20 to 70 is I have that flexibility, right? It is a heavy lens, but it's the only lens that I have to carry around in that 28 to 70 range. So in the past, I might go, hey, you know what? This is really great for a 35 millimeter shot. What I wanna do is get close. I wanna kind of shoot it somewhat wide open. I can do it now with this lens. So I'm actually gonna get close. And the reason is I wanna use the width, a wider focal length to exaggerate her limbs. So from that backside angle versus up here, now I'm at 35 mil. I'm gonna get low to kind of give her a strong presence over the frame. And I love that, Kiara, that looks fantastic. Hold that right there. Okay, so with that closer focal length, we basically get to exaggerate the limbs. And I really like that. I like that I can do it all from this. So going back, zooming in, we're gonna exaggerate the bokeh effect, going close, and zooming out and getting it to a wider focal length, we can exaggerate limbs. And we're giving Kiara kind of this low stance. So me getting low helps to exaggerate Kiara's presence over the frame. It's also why I'm having her kind of go chin up and looking down to kind of create that sense of dominance uh, over this shot. And I love it. I'm gonna actually zoom out to 28 now. And let's get even a little bit closer. I'm framing out everything else in the shot too. Kiara, I want you to See how we have some open sky to this side? So that's kind of the natural light side. Yes, I want the highlights on the leg and everything from that side. And I want you to kind of play with the light on that side. So we're not that far from our first little spot here. There's a really cool tree right here that's just about the right height where we can use it for a little bit of foreground. Let me show you a little tip here that I like to do. So I'm gonna start with placing Kiara right here in the kind of direct light. And there's nothing necessarily wrong with this. It's just gonna be that Kiara's gonna be really, really bright, especially since we're shooting midday. Um, if the light were a little bit more behind her or behind the scene, it would be great because it would be backlighting everything, right? But we can see a big highlight like right on her forehead right there. So one of my favorite things to do <laughs> 
Your forehead looks great, I'm just saying, just saying. Uh, one of my favorite things to do in a scene like this is to actually bring Kiara just a step inside. So I'll bring my subjects right inside and you'll notice from the inside, we kind of have these splits in the leaves, right? What that split does is it acts like a sort of strip box. So the strip box kind of allows a little bit of that soft light to come through. And as long as you position your subject kind of right next to it, you get this really beautiful soft light as you can see on her face. So now let's keep this, uh, let's go ahead and just look at our exposure. Okay, we're gonna keep this around probably one five hundredth of a second to one one thousandth. Um, looking at the histogram, everything looks good. It is a little bit warm on the inside. We are gonna get a little bit of um, that green tinting from the leaves as well. But let's drop the white balance to 5200 Kelvin. So now what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna keep Kiara about right here, scoot a little bit more into the light, right there, perfect. And then I'm gonna step back and I want to show off a little bit of the, the depth control that we have on this lens. I love that, Kiara. Okay, let's take a look and I'm gonna look at my highlight alert and just see if I wanna go a little bit darker. You know, this is good because I'm not gonna try and retain the highlights that are a little bit out right now. It looks nice and natural and that's kind of where I want it. Kiara, I want you to play with the light on your right side, okay? That's it, just like that. Now what I'm doing is using a little bit of this foreground to kind of frame and fill in the grass because if I don't do that, then we kind of end up with a shot with just like a lot of grass behind her like you see here, right? So what I can do is just frame that out with this little foreground element. That's it. Perfect. I love that. Stay right there for a sec. Gorgeous. Now I can have her stay there and then kind of move in and out with that light and kind of work towards this side. I can fully see the, the reflection of the glasses. Kind of cool. Right there, Kira. That's great. Bring the hands up to the glasses like you're making an adjustment. Cool. You can see how with just a little bit of placement, we essentially use this opening like a softbox. We get this really beautiful light that nicely highlights Kiara in the scene. I love those shots. Kiara, you can just kind of move freely now and do your thing. I'm gonna take a few more. From that last scene, you can see this prime-like bokeh aesthetic from the lens. So when shooting wide open, we get a beautiful blur in the foreground to the background. The transition looks prime-like, but from a zoom lens. So this is one of the things that has me so excited. You're gonna be noticing that throughout most of this shoot, I'm gonna be shooting wide open because that's really, to me, why you would buy a lens like this. To have the ability to have a zoomable prime lens, it's fantastic in low light, and of course, it's gonna look great when you stop it down as well. But I want you guys to see how sharp it is at f2 and what kind of results you're getting at that aperture. Let's go and find another spot. So in this scene, we have this row of palm trees. To me, it looks very California. And our lovely model looks very California. So I think it'd be fun to use the lens all the way at its widest. Let's again, sort of exaggerate the length of the limbs. In fact, Kiara's a dancer too. So I might have you go up and like elongate. You know, when I do it, it's not like as good as when you do it, but you get what I'm talking about. Yeah. They get it. Okay, so we're gonna start with your favorite. We're gonna start with the walk-up shot. <laughs> we're gonna start with the what not to do. I mean, this isn't terrible. It's just, we're losing a lot of interest in the shot when we do it kind of like this. And we also get a lot of objects in the background. So this is one of those shots that I do wanna get all the way down. We're gonna use the width of the lens to exaggerate limbs as well. Um, we have an awesome class that's like walking through the background. So this is gonna take like five minutes now to clear the background. But let's put Kiara into a pose. So go ahead and stand right there. I'm actually gonna use Kiara. So watch this. If I take this shot right here, you'll notice in addition to the hundreds of students going through the background, you'll notice that we have this pole jutting out right there. So what I'll actually do is I'm gonna use Kiara to block the pole. So Kiara, yeah, you're gonna stand kind of right there and bring it, come forward a little bit towards me and a little bit this way. You'll also notice that there's this cool shadow right on the ground that I could use to lead into Kiara. Let me just make sure our 
highlight alert and histogram looks good. Yeah, we're at 1 2,000th F2 and ISO 100. I'm gonna back it up a tiny, tiny bit. Kiara, take a little step to your right. Yep, a little bit too much. Go back, right there. Now, rock that pose. Okay, I want you guys to notice a couple things here. I'm trying to frame her in the, in the bright area of the scene. So I'm sort of framing her in the sky and then we're not getting too close. See, if I get too close, one of the mistakes that we often do with wide angle lenses is we get too close and we can tend to elongate in a way that looks unnatural. This isn't even that bad, but I usually try to avoid like making the limbs look gigantic. Like it doesn't, there's a certain point where it just doesn't look that great anymore. So what I'm doing to control that is just backing up a bit and not bringing her to the edge of the frame. And Kiara, I wanna get you just a tiny, tiny bit this way, right there. Oh, too much, right there. See where that, yeah, that's it. Where the shadow kind of connects together. That's it, right there. Perfect. Now do your thing, my friend. Okay, at 28 millimeters, I love using the lens for action, getting down low, getting wide. Honestly, my only gripe about it is I find many instances where I'm like, 28 is just not quite enough. But that would be very much a photographer gripe because what we have here is already incredible. But yes, we're always gonna ask for more. I wanna do one last scene. Viet, there is a step behind you. Good job. He, dude, he just, he's like navigating Walt. Well, this is impeccable. So in this scene right here, I can show off a little bit more of the depth. I'm gonna place uh, Kiara kind of against one of these columns. I'm gonna shoot into the columns and we're also gonna get some close-ups because at 70, you also get a really great lens that can be used for close-up portraits and things. Obviously, we kind of want something like an 85 so we get no distortion when you go close to headshots, but this is still gonna do a really great job with that. So what I'm gonna do in this scene is we have this beautiful row of columns here and you'll notice that the opening lets this light come straight through and we're getting this nice reflection off the brick and off the concrete, which gives us a, a bit of warmth to the color of that light. What I'm gonna do is place Kiara right in front of this column, okay? Because from my angle, if I kind of zoom in, I get this beautiful highlight to shadow to highlight to shadow. It has a very nice cinematic look. I'm gonna show you exactly what I mean with this. Every time I see a spot like this, this is kind of the first thing that I do. The second thing that I do is move the equipment that we placed right in the shot, but that's okay. We'll, we'll handle that in a second. Kiara, look towards the light for a sec. There it is. Okay, so you can look at that shot while I actually go and clear the background, but we, we get this really nice look to these images. Now let me go in. Okay, so now, still shooting at F2, I'm gonna bring Kiara up a little bit. Let's bring you forward. I want you to kind of look towards the light. I'm gonna keep framing you right here. There it is. I love that. Hands in the pockets, looking out. That's great. I'm gonna get a little bit low. The reason I'm getting a little bit low is you'll notice that if I take this shot kind of standing, I end up getting a lot of concrete on the left side, even if I'm zoomed in. But if I get low, I can sort of feature more of the vines up above her. So I'm gonna get low and shoot up a little bit. That's great, Kiara. Okay, and she's barely a little bit too far towards the vine. So I'm gonna push you just a tiny bit this way. And then when you lean into it, so lean into that pose again, the same thing that you did a second ago, take a small step to your left, right there. Yes, now show me the pose. That's it. So I want her head to not compete with like the vines that are right behind her. I want it to be right in front of that brick, nicely framing. That's it right there. I love that angle of light. Keep that up right there. We're gonna get close to the wall. I'm gonna show you kind of the, the depth going along the brick. Love it. Okay, now you can lean back against the, the actual brick. Here, look down a little bit on this one. That's it, bring the hands up to the hair. You can make some adjustments. Okay, and then from right there, what if you gave me the eyes? Yep, just like that. 
because we're shooting midday, we don't have a perfectly backlit golden hour scene to show you guys with this lens. But hopefully you still got to see what this lens can do and why the 20 to 70 f2 is not only my workhorse lens it's my favorite lens of all time to this point not forever but to this point anyway i'd love to see what you guys think about the video if you guys have any ideas for future videos comment below i do actually read them in the meantime we're going to link up kiara so you can give her a follow and we would love on the channel for you guys to subscribe to adorama tv turn on notifications if you want to see all the great videos going up each and every day and last but not least, if you guys want to follow me, it's at Pygirsa on Instagram. See you guys next time. Peace.